The two powers that once brought the Conservative Party together today may be about to shape the party's future. Peter McKay wants to do it as leader. I'm in, he tweeted. Stay tuned. There's no cakewalk for any candidate, and he's no exception to that. Strategist Dennis Matthews says McKay is helped by being well-known as former progressive conservative leader and cabinet minister, but there's still a lot of work to do. He's got to find a way to make sure he's bridged both sides of the party, but as well as found a way to sort of broaden his appeal beyond maybe his base in Atlantic Canada and get it all the way across the country. Leadership aspirations aren't new for McKay. One thing I did learn from Josh Array is you never say never. Uh, you never close doors. Quite a twist then that he may well run against Jean Charest, McKay's former mentor and a former premier of Quebec. Charest is organizing his own team right now. And this is where Stephen Harper comes in. Today, Harper left the party's powerful fundraising arm. It had recently been involved in a messy battle over Andrew Scheer's expenses. But McLean's reports Harper is leaving to free himself up to stop Charest, believing Charest represents the party's past. So when you look at this race and the seriousness of the candidates being mentioned and the, the seriousness of the, of the race overall, you know, I think you're going to see an extremely hard-fought leadership race. Another big name considering a jump, Ronna Ambrose. CBC News has learned that this week supporters gave her an assessment of her chances if she were to run. Sources say she's still considering what to do, but she'll have to make up her mind soon. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa.